and we're back. This is part two of chat number 150, or I'm sorry, 145. Getting ahead of myself. This is part two of chat 145 that was set goals within reach. You already have your homework. If you watched the first half, if you watched it with us live, you already know what your homework is. And if you didn't, shame on you. You're going to have to go back and watch it. Um, but if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I would love it if you would subscribe. I would love it if you would share it with somebody um, who's just starting their WW journey. I think it's going to be really important with the little changes that are coming that, again, I don't know about. So don't ask me. But I think it's going to be important until it rolls out. But I think with the little bit of little changes that are coming, it's going to be really, really important, really, really important that especially new people or semi brand new people, you know, have some extra support. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay. But just remember, WW is always doing things to make it better for us and easier and help us to be better, faster, stronger. So it's always good. It's always good. And I'm always excited for it. One thing I forgot to mention, um, constantly getting questions about how people can support us because we will, we don't accept cash. <laughs> So the ways that you can support us um, are in our other businesses. So we have KC Kitchen Center, and y'all can go to kckitchencenter.com. Would love it. Would love it if you all would um, subscribe for that. And um, if you see anything that you want on there for holiday gifts, we are running a buy one, get one free sale right now on the kitchen items, which includes the funny magnets, and it includes the um, wet it cloths, which I love. I have mine out here again. Love this thing. This one, I'm not trying to do a commercial, but oh my gosh, Rhonda, I see that you're here. Have you used yours yet? This one has been used now more than 60 times and it has been run through the dishwasher, I want to say 10 times now. And it's still, I mean, I've been using it tonight, so it's a little dingy, but it still looks just like it did. It still looks just like it did. And so I've gotten to where now at work, I just wet it and I set it in the morning when I first get there and I set it next to the coffee pot so I can dribble my coffee on it and I can just wipe it right up. Um, okay. Anyway, so another way y'all can support us, Casey has started making these lovely, these are awesome, awesome coasters. They are so thick. If you order, you'll have to ask her. I think if you order two, Two sets of the color street nails and if you go to color street it's just cn bohannon is her thing is her store maybe um but she's giving some of these away she's also selling these but this is my set that looks like candy and no i did not dress to match it today but this is my set of coasters and i'm super excited with about them but anyway they look like candy i think okay so that is another way to support us what we're talking about though for our extra credit we have so many people that join our closed group and if you don't if you're not already in our closed group and if you want to join pretty 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 please answer the three questions if you don't answer the three questions i can't let you in um we are back up to 170 something people that have not answered the questions the only reason that we're up to 170 something is even even though you haven't answered the questions you 170 something people it's so hard for me to hit delete it's so hard for me to delete it. Even though I'm not letting you in, it's so hard for me to hit delete. So pretty please answer those questions. Um, but it's just, it's uh, it's another if you have an egg, but it is a closed group. So if you go and find that, or I'll put the link on here later, but please answer those three questions. Um, but if you, you can believe every single day, every single day, we have somebody ask in, in one of those three questions, they ask for the WW oatmeal packet, the they ask for the muffin recipe every single day, every single day. So earlier this week, I perfected one that was pumpkin and chocolate chips. So I'm going to show you though, how to do this. So everybody that wanted to know how to make the muffins from the WW packet of oatmeal here you go so i'm going to show you how to make them but i'm going to show you how to make a couple of different kinds so the little packets and this is not the ww kind because believe it or not our location does not sell these i would have to order them online so all i did to find out how much how much to use is i opened a packet of instant oatmeal um, and i'm just curious how many of you here how many of you here tonight how many of you are one of those people who asked me for that recipe Oh no, Christy wanted to know. Oh no, that little that noise. No, that was not the paper clip. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Because I still have shells and things. 
Hold on. Where's the... <gasps> Hold on. Hold on. Christy got me sidetracked. So, y'all, since Christy distracted me, and since I'm getting ready to show the paper clip, then y'all have to do, what is it, sit-ups or whatever. So, there's the paper clip. I know this was your all's favorite thing, so there it is. I had put it away, and I was not playing with it. Okay. Anyway, just for that, Christy, I'm going to put the paper clip on the bag. The bag does not need a paper clip, but I'm going to put it on there just because just because you said something about it. But anyway, so I took a packet of instant oatmeal. But yeah, give me a thumbs up though. Let me see a thumbs up and I see all the laughing faces about the paper clip. <sighs> but let me see some thumbs ups or hey me or whatever. If you're one of the people that asked about this recipe, and we only have 20 minutes to make three of them. Eee! Okay, so this is, and Barbara wants to know if you can use the white part of the egg. Okay, Barbara, we're not to the ingredients yet, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the yolk has something to do with how it, with making, helping it to rise and to set up. Sorry. I think you have to use the yolk. If somebody knows differently, please let me know. But anyway, so I took a packet of instant oatmeal and I measured it. So I measured it and it is equals a third of a cup. So whatever's in here, whatever magic is in this instant oatmeal, it is one third of a cup. So you can use instant oatmeal packets. Um, you can use any brand I've used. This is, you have to use quick cook, quick cook oats, Kathy. Kathy wants to know if you can use any kind of oats or regular oats. Yes, you can, but you have to use quick cook. Um, so I will, sh I'll show you those in just a second. But anyway, you do not have to use something that's already packaged. You do not have to use something that's a, you know, a brand. And I've used a couple of different brands. So I've used Quaker. I've used, this is the, um, better in oats be, you know, better than an N better in oats and Oh, and I used the Quaker Low Sugar at work the other day. That was what I used um, to make the chocolate chip pumpkin one. But you don't have to use this, but it is instant. I just wanted to show you this is instant oatmeal, and the WW brand would be the same. So it's a third of a cup. So there is a third of a cup of ingredients in here. Okay, you don't have to use... You do not have to use instant oatmeal. So what we're going to use tonight is just quick cook oats. So... You, know, you can buy these in a big container like this so you can use quick cook oats. I have not tried it with quick cook steel cut oats. I have only tried it with quick cook regular oats. But what you're going to do is you're going to measure out a, and yes, Vicki, any flavor. As far as I know, any, any flavor. I don't know of any of these that have not turned out correctly with using any flavor. But you're going to get, so you need to get some, if you're not going to use a packet, and you certainly can use a packet, you, you certainly can use a packet of regular instant oatmeal, any brand. Just remember just remember to get the points. So these better in oats are three points. Um, the Quaker that I used the other day, the lower sugar one was three points. The regular one is four to five. Um, there's one that was really, really super yummy, but it was like seven points, seven or eight points. So check the points. This one's instant. This is better in oats. This one's three points. This though, all of these little packets, so I'm going to show you these, all of these little packets were made using the quick cook oats that came in that container, a third of a cup. So I measured a third of a cup into each one of these little Ziploc bags. And you don't have to use zip or zippered bags. You don't have to use those, but that's what I did. This one is a pumpkin pie spice one. This is a pumpkin spice one. All of these, every single one of them that I made, and you can use these as regular oatmeal. So you don't have to make the muffins out of these. But if you want, um, oh, Lynn says the Kroger apple one is good. Hmm, I may have to try that one. Um, Lynn, is that one, is that one three or is it four? Um, but all of these have, every single one of these baggies has one third, one third, actually it's one third, one third of a cup of quick cook oats and one teaspoon of Truvia baking blend. And y'all always ask me what that is. So I'm gonna show you Truvia baking blend. And I use that one because it does have real sugar in it too. So it's, you know, it's sweeter. So they all have that. Every single one of them has a third of a cup of quick cook oats and one teaspoon, I hope I didn't say tablespoon, one teaspoon of Truvia baking blend. Okay, so they all have that in there. This one has the addition of a teaspoon of Dax pumpkin spice. We do have this in the store, so if you're here in Knoxville or if you're near Knoxville, um, it is um, at KC Kitchen Center at 5902 Kingston Pike. We do have these. We've got them back in stock. I think we have two left. 
if I'm not mistaken. I think we might have two of them left. Of course, I can get some more. Um, or you can order them online at caseykitchencenter.com, or you can order them online through Dax. But anyway, so this one has the oats, the trivia, and Dax pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie spice, or pumpkin spice. And so that still makes it three smart points. This one has the third of a cup. And remember, you can eat these as oatmeal too. So if you don't want, if you're not interested in making the muffin, you can still just eat these as oatmeal. It cooks just like any instant oatmeal, any instant oatmeal. Um, so this one is a third of a cup of the oat, the quick cook oats and a teaspoon of Trivia Baking Blend. And then it has a teaspoon of Dax Chocolate Crave. We do also have this in the store. It's at kckitchencenter.com, kckitchencenter.com, or we have them in the store, 5902 Kingston Pike, um, or you can order for them from Dax online. Um, so that's the Chocolate Crave. This one is just regular old cinnamon and sugar. So if you're used to eating cinnamon and sugar oatmeal, this is just cinnamon and sugar oatmeal. Hello, Darlene. So this is the third of a cup of quick cook oats one teaspoon of Trivia Baking Blend, and one teaspoon of cinnamon, just good old cinnamon. This one is a little bit different. I'm sorry. Um, so far, those are all three. So those are all three smart points. This one, though, has, this one is caramel coffee. And so this has, oh, and Lynn says the apple, the Kroger apple oatmeal has four um, smart points. This one is caramel coffee, and it is the third of a cup of quick cook oats, one teaspoon of Trivia Baking Blend, and it has two teaspoons of caramel coffee, but the coffee, like the coffee grounds. Um, once you add hot water to that, mm, 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 mm. you like coffee? That's a good one. It's caramel coffee. Also still three smart points, and you can smell it. Smell that. Yum, 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 yum. Smells so good. Okay, and then this one is like the pumpkin one that I made the other day, um, but it is peanut butter and chocolate chip. So this one has the third of a cup of oatmeal, of quick cook oats. It has the teaspoon of Trivia Baking Blend, and then it has a tablespoon of any brand of peanut powder. This one happens to be chocolate hazelnut peanut powder. And then it has 20 of... And I have lost them. Hold on. It has 20 of the Lily's chocolate chips. So I will have to find that. Hmm. I don't know where they could be. Anyway, it has 20 of the Lily's chocolate chips in there. So, okay. So let's make one. So how do we do this? So we're going to make the muffins though. So how do we make the muffins? First of all, find yourself something, a mug, anything. This is just a nice little crock that microwaves really well. Um, it makes a, g a huge size muffin. Um, you do, it does not have to be, um, it doesn't have to be this big. You can use a coffee mug. If you use a skinnier coffee mug, it's gonna get really tall. Um, and that's also gonna make a difference on how many minutes that you leave it in the microwave. But so you're gonna spray it with nonstick spray. Oh. Maybe if you're, oh, here we go. Okay, so you're gonna spray that with nonstick spray. And then you're gonna pick one of these. So I think I'm gonna use the, oh, and we're gonna make these three different ways. So I'm gonna use the cinnamon sugar one. And I am gonna make an apple, an apple cinnamon sugar one. So I'm gonna use the cinnamon sugar one, just like I had it mixed up. And I'm gonna save my little baggie because this is all this is all dry ingredients, so you can reuse these over and over and over and over and over again. And then I'm gonna use this is a half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And this happened where did all my forks go? And this happens to be Granny Smith, because I do love Granny Smith. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna add that. It's a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. We're gonna add that to it. And then we're gonna add one egg. Okay, we're gonna add one egg to that. And oopsie, I got a tiny bit of the shell. That never happens, but it happened because it's live. Okay, so a tiny bit of the shell. And then, I'm gonna use my handy dandy Swedish dishcloth 
to wipe my hands off because I can run this through the dishwasher when we get done. So I can keep my kitchen germ free because I can run it through the dishwasher. Okay, and then we're literally just gonna stir all of that together. You're not gonna add anything else to it. So you've got the Quick Cook Oats combo packet that we put together. You've got that, and then you have one egg, and then you have a half of a cup of applesauce. And I've already sprayed them up in the pan. I like to stir it with a fork because it's such a small amount. I don't know, it just seems to stir better with a fork. And then you're gonna pour it in whatever you are using for your muffin pan. It does not have, again, it does not have to be this big, but if you do, if you use a, um, if you use too tall of a coffee mug, it gets really tall. It gets really tall and then it sometimes takes a little bit longer to cook. Okay, so you can see, I hope that's in there. We're gonna put it in the microwave for on my for my microwave it's three minutes you're gonna have to test yours and see what your time is okay but that's for three minutes okay the next one we're gonna make so in the length of time that it takes that one to cook and again Swedish dishcloth wet perfect 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 and we have those at Casey Kitchen Center and actually those are buy one get one free right now okay the next one we're gonna make I'm gonna make another pumpkin one this time I'm just gonna do the pumpkin pie spice. And yes, it is, it is perfect. Yeah, Betty says it's perfect for a quick breakfast. She's exactly right. It is so, it's so quick. So quick for a quick breakfast. Okay, so we're gonna do pumpkin. And the pumpkin, I just have it in this little container. I already took it out of the can. Um, and you would think that all canned pumpkin would taste the same. I personally think that the canned pumpkin from Aldi is the best. Like when I'm there and they have it, just plain pumpkin. This is not pumpkin pie filling. This is plain, plain pureed pumpkin. Um, it is not pumpkin pie filling. So again, half of a cup. I'm gonna dump that into a, I'll just use my measuring cups to stir with. Um, we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna use, I'm gonna make this one for Alyssa. For tomorrow so we are just going to use the we're just going to use the Dax pumpkin spice because I know she likes that because she's already had it but without the chocolate so we're gonna, I'm not going to make hers with chocolate so we're going to put that in there and then we're going to add one egg Again, wipe your hands on something, wash them off, don't grab raw eggs and then start touching everything. And we're just gonna mix this one together. We've still got a minute. We've still got a minute on that dish. So we may have to switch to a different dish. Or I'll just go ahead and mix the third one while we're waiting. Okay, so again, this has the mix. This has got the oatmeal mix that we made. And it has one egg and a half of a cup of pumpkin. Okay, so we'll have this one ready for when the dish is available. Then this huge one. We're only using the huge one because I only have three of these. It is a half of a cup of pumpkin, Loretta. Yes, a half of a cup of pumpkin. Okay, this one you need a nearly dead banana. And sadly, the little market down the street, let's see, Lynn says to Haley, why more? Okay, I don't know what more y'all are. Three minutes, my microwave is three minutes. Mine is three minutes. Do, don't know if it's everybody's. Somebody's microwave, somebody told me earlier their microwave was, it was four minutes in their microwave. And you can hear that that is ready. Sadly though, the little market down from our house, all of their bananas, I needed a dead banana, all of their bananas look dead. Okay, so. Let's get this out and see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's looking good. We're gonna let that cool off for a little bit and then we will dump it out. While we're waiting on that, I've got the banana in here, the nearly dead banana in here, and I'm just gonna use a fork and kind of mash it together. Together, kind of mash it up. Oh, and thank you. Jess for subscribing to Casey Kitchen Center that popped up that notification popped up 
but thank you very much for subscribing to it. And the buy one, get one free. If you all want a Swedish dishcloth, the buy one, get one free. Today is October the 27th. It only runs through next Saturday, so don't be watching this like next February or whatever and try to get this. But for right now, because um, we've got to make some room for our Christmas stuff coming out, um, the code is BOGO FALL. It's B O G O fall b-o-g-o-f-a-l-l -L. and that makes the swedish dish dish cloths um buy one get one and trish wants to know what size banana it's really i'm like i wouldn't get a huge one i would get the ones that i always say are, you know are a serving of banana and um, so i would get one of those okay let me get something to put this out on Okay, so let's get this first one out here. Okay, so the first, whew, can y'all see how steamy that is? Okay, so the first one is ready to go. Let's spray this again with a little bit of non-stick spray, not much because the first one didn't stick, so it is ready to go. And this one is the pumpkin muffin one. For Alyssa so I did not put any chocolate in this one like I did um, on the recipe online and that recipe is already on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com so if you want to see the one with the pumpkin it's got a half a cup of pumpkin the oatmeal mix that we just put together um, and the one online has chocolate has lilies dark chocolate chips in it but since this is for Alyssa I'm just gonna make it with pumpkin okay gonna put this back in the microwave for three minutes on high thank you mary mary just joined casey kitchen center okay so we're gonna do that for three minutes and we are gonna get i'm actually gonna get something different to put this muffin on because it's a little bit bigger than the dish i got have six minutes we're doing pretty good okay so I'm gonna flip this back over again and here we go so here is the first one okay so this one is the oh and thank you M Howarth thank you very much so for joining Casey Kitchen Center so here is this is the first one this is the apple cinnamon one and look how tall that is i mean that's still it's still a really good size so we'll try this one in just a second actually i'll try all of them for you but this one is the one that has the applesauce and then just the cinnamon and sugar okay and then this last one has the medium size banana and i'm gonna use oh, the peanut butter and dark chocolate chips mm, we're gonna use that one thank you goodness gracious thank you all for joining that one's KC Cal. I don't know what your first name is, but thank you for joining Casey Kitchen Center. Thank you very much. Yeah, and remember the code. If you all do need to get anything, get a holiday special on it, the buy one, get one free. It's BOGO FALL. It's B O G O F A L L. And Rosie, you just go to KC Kitchen Center. You just go to KC, it's the letter K, the letter C, kitchencenter.com. Um, and it'll show you on there, it'll show you how to subscribe, but if you do need a BOGO, I mean, if you do want to get those, buy one, get one, um, it's just BOGO fall. And that is through next Saturday. So these Swedish dish claws, like I have here at home, I've got the one with the dogs on it. Super cute. They're reusable, recyclable, like when it's done, done, like when it starts to fall apart. I mean, and I'm talking, look, I'm, it just now has a little pucker in it just now and i've used this one i think almost 70 times and it's been through the dishwasher like again 10 uh, 10 or 12 times and i also have a camping one which i was using today so it's got dish detergent on it but you can you can you can run through the dishwasher okay so this one is the banana already smushed up the packet that we made for the peanut butter and dark chocolate chip and Liz, the muffins are whatever the packet was because you're putting zero point pumpkin or zero point banana or zero point um, unsweetened applesauce with it. So it's whatever your, whatever your, um, 
oatmeal was. So if it was instant oatmeal, if you bought a packet of instant oatmeal, or if you made your own from what we were talking about. Thank you, MD now. Thank you. Um, if you were for joining KC Kitchen Center. So if you were doing that, if you were using that or if you using one of the packets, it's just whatever it is for the oatmeal because what we're adding to them, and yes, my Christy, most of them are, thank you, Myra, I saw that. Most of them are, um, and thank you, Texas Nurse, but most of them are, let's see, what do you do? Don't do peanut butter. Hold on, let me see. Trish says, you're putting the banana. What other mixes could you do in I don't do peanut butter? Oh, I mean, anything. You can do You can do the cinnamon and sugar, but cinnamon and sugar is great on bananas. Um, you could do the caramel coffee one. You could do, um, oh, with the banana one, I have done added later. I have added, um, or like add as part of the liquid, um, maple syrup. It's really good on bananas. Really good on bananas. Okay. Woo, okay. My little bowl starting to get hot. Okay, so this one, this is the pumpkin muffin one. So we're gonna let that cool off for just a minute before we put in the banana one. Uh, and we're gonna run over by a minute, but y'all are good, right? Y'all don't care if we run over by a minute. Okay, let me go ahead and what I do with my other dish. Here it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this one out so we can get the banana one in. Okay, let that one cool off a little bit. We'll go ahead and put the banana mixture. Oops, let me spray it. Really doesn't need much spray in between because it's they're they're not sticking because it's you know it's leaving most of that spray in the bottom. Make sure we get all those chocolate chips because I accounted for 20 chocolate chips, so we don't want to leave. And I'm okay. That was just the lid for the spray. We don't want to leave any chocolate chips in the bottom because I already counted those points. Okay, and if y'all can hang out with me for just another couple of minutes, here is the last one going in. And again, it's for three minutes. Okay, and let me get the pumpkin one put out. Let's get the pumpkin one out here and let it be cooling off. And you all know this trick, right? My mom taught me this. So whatever you want to flip over and it be right side up, you put the another plate on top of it and just flip it over. Hopefully y'all know how to do that. Okay, so here is the pumpkin one. So that is Alyssa's. I mean, look how huge that is. And so Alyssa's is three points. So it's three points for the pumpkin one. Because remember, it just had the oatmeal. It just had oatmeal. Um, so it had a third of a cup of quick cook oats, which is three smart points, and it had a teaspoon of Truvia baking blend, and it had the pump, the Dax pumpkin pie spice, and um, it had that in there. So it's just three points. And yes, uh, Betty's exactly right. She said if Dusty was asleep, he is awake now. That's why he's shaking. It's because he just woke up. He had a long day today, so he went with Casey and I to do all of her video shoot, and we walked... 10,000, 10,915 steps. Okay, I know a little bit of that, you know, is, um, you know, me, me walking around and getting ready for this, but I mean, we walked probably at least 8,000 steps. Okay, and let's see, what did, Jackie said, are they better chilled in the fridge? If you like them cold, yes, I like them warm. Alyssa's will be chilled, you know, for tomorrow. And Rosie said her mouth is watering. And yes, there is egg. No, I'm sorry. Did I not say egg? Loretta, yes, egg, egg, egg. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was reading and talking at the same time. So yes, all of them have egg. So all of them have the oatmeal mix that we made, the vegetable or fruit, I guess the pumpkins, I don't know, it's pumpkin, a vegetable or a fruit. That, so either pumpkin or banana or applesauce and one egg. They all three had one egg. Okay. So, but they are fine after they've been in the refrigerator you can heat them up but look how big these are i mean they're huge they're big because of the size bowl that i put them in if you put these in a coffee mug you sure can put them in a coffee mug but just remember if you do that it's going to get really tall this way i think the consistency and thank you l cox thank you very much for subscribing to casey kitchen center i think um oh melissa says it has seeds so it's a fruit but a 
cucumber has seeds and isn't it not a vegetable? <gasps> Donna, did you order some gifts? Oh, and Janice says the code has not started yet. What? What? Yeah, it should have started yesterday, I think. Okay, just give, give it a give it a little bit and it should start. It's BOGO Fall. B-O-G-O -O Fall. Okay, I'll try to hurry it up and make it start. Okay, here's our last one. So for those of you who haven't already gone to bed, hold on just a second. Here's the last one. So this one is the peanut butter and the Lily's Dark Chocolate Chips. This one is five smart points. Remember, it was five because the mix was five. The egg is zero points and whatever fruit we're putting in it is also zero points. Just make sure if you use, when you use applesauce, that you use unsweetened applesauce. Okay. And I'm not gonna take the time to dump this one out. I'll just take a picture of it. Um, I'll take a picture of it for you all um, so that you can see it, so you can um, so you can see what it looks like later because it is 9.03 and it's time for everybody to go to bed and everybody's drooling and everybody's hungry. So I've made you hungry at nine o'clock, but that is the ban banana chocolate chip one. Um, I've already tried all three of these. I haven't tried them here live, but I've tried all three of these. Absolutely delicious, absolutely yummy. I highly recommend it, um, highly recommend it. Um, somebody just asked how long in the oven. In the oven, I think I cooked them on 350 for 25 minutes. I'm pretty sure I did it at 350 for 25 minutes. So if somebody has done it in the oven instead, please, um, you know, please let us know. But there you have it. Those are the, it started out as the WW, um, you know, packet of oatmeal. And yes, Tracy, you can skip the tr the Truvia blend. You can definitely skip that. Yeah, I just do that because I like it just a teeny tiny bit sweeter. Um, but there's the last one. Started with the WW oatmeal, you know, the packet of oatmeal. That's what everybody was wanting to know about. So there you go. We've done it with quick cook, quick cook oats. I've done the same thing um, with the packaged oats. I've done it with two different brands in three different kinds. Turned out perfect every single time. My microwave is three minutes. Yours might be a little bit different. Just test it. You'll know if it's still kind of gummy in the middle. Um, you'll know, but they turn out great. Actually, you know what? Let me cut one in half real quick. I know it's after nine. I know, I know, I know. I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the middle. So this is done. See how it looks flaky? That means it's done. If it's still gummy in the middle, you need to put it back in for a few minutes. So, okay. Good night, everybody. Y'all have an awesome week. Dusty is more than ready to come see you all, I think. Let me get him. Dusty, come on. Because he is sitting right here at my feet. And little lazy bones from having, from having to walk so much is very tired. He's very tired. He's already ready for bed. But you all have an awesome week. Um... And, oh, Rosie says it's only 6.04 in California. She's ready to go. She can go all night. She's got three more hours. But y'all have a great week. Don't forget to do your homework. Um, I want to see your muffin concoctions. So make up some new ones. I want to see what you do with it. But you all have a great week. And I'll see you next week. And happy Halloween. Good night, everybody. Oh, sorry. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just YouTube.com. Search if you have an egg. Don't forget to watch the next video subscribe, or you can order a spreadshirt. Now I'm going to say goodnight, everybody. Good night. See you next week.